Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to measure the tread depth of your tires. Do you have a friend who's interested in DIY projects? Be sure to refer them over to my channel. Before we get started, there are certain things which tread depth can tell you. Beyond a visual inspection of the tire, the measurement of tread depth will help determine if the tires will pass a certification inspection, tires have incorrect pressure, there is a fault with suspension components, unbalanced tire, an alignment issue, worn steering or suspension components, or a fault with the tire. First inspecting the shoulder of the tire, which is where the tread starts as the sidewall ends. Here we are looking for a small arrow which indicates where the wear bars are located within the tire treads. Some may have a text as well, which may be written in such a way to break down the tire into segments if you are recording the numbers. Wear bars are a raised portion within the tread grooves, which indicates how much life is left in the tires. When the depth reaches a certain measurement, then the tires are becoming unsafe to use and will need to be replaced. Now for the amount of wear bars across the tread face will also vary depending on the tire design. Once the tread depth becomes too low, the tires do not provide adequate traction. Here I have a tire tread depth gauge, which is only a few dollars to purchase and very easy to use. These are available in a variety of styles and can even be found in a digital version. If you don't have one of these, I'll show an alternative method in a moment. First extend the plunger down all the way. Push the plunger down, not on the wear bar though, this measurement uses a total tread depth instead. The plunger will stop, be sure the outer stopper portion of the case is touching the tread face, remove, and then take the reading. Tire tread depth gauges normally have both imperial and metric values. First I'll be working with almost brand new tires. The first measurement is 932 of an inch or 7 millimeter. We are looking for the measurement line that meets the casing of the tread depth gauge. The second measurement is the same and finally the third measurement is also the same. As a second example I'll be using my winter tires. So for this tire the first measurement is about 732 of an inch or 6 millimeter. 532 of an inch or 4 millimeter is the next measurement. And finally the third measurement is the same as the middle measurement which is 532 or 4 millimeter. So these measurements would show that the vehicle has a negative camber which could be an alignment issue, a lowered vehicle, or it could be the nature of the independent suspension depending on the design. As an alternative method you can use a caliper. Calipers are available in a variety of styles, and if you are unsure how to use one, I do have a tutorial for that, which I'll include a link to in the description below. The caliper is equipped with a depth gauge, same type of idea as a tire depth gauge. This method is certainly much more accurate though. Extend the depth gauge out to an appropriate length, then insert in the groove. Same type of idea as a tire tread depth gauge. Remove and record the measurement. Here we have 0 0.275 inches. Next is 0 0.279 inches. And the last is 0 0.285 inches. Next I have a worn example. As you can see the wear bars are even with the tread face. Therefore the tire is in need of replacement. Tire tread depth ratings will vary between countries, so be sure to check your local government speculations. In order to maintain equal tire tread depth, it's important to maintain your vehicle suspension and steering components. It's also important to have your tires rotated, so if you do have negative camber, when the tires are switched from the other side, this will help promote even wear. As a generalized recommendation, tires should be rotated every 12,000 kilometers or 8,000 miles but this may vary between manufacturers or drive systems. As a tolerance value between the tire tread wear measurements, this can vary between manufacturers and drive systems as well. From some manufacturer specifications, Audi states that the rolling radius of all four tires must be within 432 of an inch. The Porsche Cayenne must be within 30% of the opposite wheel on the same axle. And Subaru must be within one quarter of an inch of tire circumference or 232 of an inch of each other. If these values exceed these limits, this can cause premature failure of drive components and faults with the vehicle's computer as each wheel will be turning at a different speed. 
Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.